Good morning, everybody. This is John Hester here at Hester's Motorsports here in Raton, New Mexico, www.hester-motorsports.com. Reach us at 575-445-3558, Tuesday through Saturday. It's a bit windy here today, so I'm going to try to cut through this pretty quickly. Figures right when I start filming, wind picks up nice and nice and nasty. Thank you very much. So, we have a Hester Edition KRX 1000 that we built, and as I film this, this vehicle is for sale because we just got it done, and it's one of our pre-builds. So let's get into this thing and get this thing sold. I will update, once it's sold, uh, I will update the header on it. So, starting out, we started with, uh, we have decor, graphics on here, all custom done up for us, has our logos, websites, Hester Edition, everything like that. We have the Dirt Warriors windshield, which is very nice. So you have a DOT glass, and you have a fully opening and closing uh, windshield. So you just, oops, let me really crank these down, okay. Tight, loosen these up, slide that open. So you could independently open and close the windshield. From left to right you know driver and passenger we have scanner bar in there you can see that really cool it's awesome it's a lot better in the dark because it lights up all this grill and everything it's really awesome that's from Zach Wagner on there uh, at wags LEDs we have rhino light rock lights on this bad boy on all four corners we got a total of eight rock lights two on each wheel all up in here right now just those i just haven't just set on green we have the three foot rhino lights which are nice they are also brake lights so let me just open the door real quick here and you can see the brake light activate see i hit the red the brake there it turns solid red really awesome beautiful graphics just that gold metal flake just mm, makes it look so good it's all black with some green accenting so really changed up the look of the machine see look it's already got rock stuck in it these are 35 inch 35 10 15 System 3 XCR 350 tires on the stock beadlock wheels. Everything fits perfectly, clears good, zero rub, no problems. Our custom Hester Edition Monster Energy shock covers. We have full UHMW skid plates all the way through this. UHMW trailing link guards. We have the uh, Nerf bars, I, everything. I mean, full under protection. We built this, built this to be a rock god, and basically conquer pretty much everything it comes up against. We have a sport bumper. We have a, a VRX, a Warren VRX 4500 winch with synthetic rope. We have on both front and rear brute performance, ultra heavy duty half inch pull points, monster suckers loads and loads of strength out of those we have Kawasaki's fender flares so we have the extended fender flares bringing this all out protecting you even more we have the full titanium and carbon fiber graves exhaust system so this is the full system yes it boosts power yes it sounds pretty awesome and we also have the quiet core and spark arrestor in this as well which is removable you can remove the spark arrestor uh, or the uh, quiet core separate from the spark arrestor keep the spark arrestor so that way you know you're full trail legal all over the united states with this exhaust system uh, you could tone it down or you can it sounds beautiful either way it sounds beautiful just an awesome awesome krx and of course, you know, we've set the set the sag up and everything. So right now with the tires, uh, we're sitting at almost 17 inches of ground clearance. So we got everything all set. 
17 inches of ground clearance on this bad boy, 19 inches of travel in the front, 21 inches of travel in the rear, as you all know. Then inside, this is another cool thing, so watch this. So I just release this and let go, oops, and the door will open and stay open. Why? Because we have the brute performance pistons on here. So we have a pneumatic piston right here which holds the door open. We have the Brute Performance KRX black floor drains. We have the Pursuit lighted LED. So we have a green LED light and a white LED light on these, which will cast all out here. So you can light up the entire wheel area, everything really well. It casts out in front, so you got really good light on here. This we have the Audio Forms sound system top. This is a level three top. I do have another video just showing this. So we have the light bar on it, amplifier, Rockford Fosgate head unit with Audio Forms speakers, all RGB controlled, beautiful setup, awesome sound, and you have light in the back. The other cool thing on this thing is you can see where this comes back further than any other top. So the speakers are actually kind of down behind you here and the top kind of comes back and flips. So this really changes the airflow of the vehicle. So now instead of any air wanting to circulate, any eddy currents coming in and circulating, it's able to push out and come out and uh, keep all that, keeps it flowing through the cabin, keeps heat you know basically down to zero um, once you have the windows open you got loads of airflow don't have any issues with dust or anything like that and um, we do uh, a lot of dealers on these KRX's they'll just unload them drive them right up on your trailer and not do anything so we do the full PDI inspection I mean we torque every single bolt on this machine we pull the clutches uh, clutch cover off and we torque you know do everything with the clutches make sure that everything is as perfect as we possibly can uh, we have the control uh, knuckles up front here the front knuckles are already uh, taken care of so you don't have to worry about anything on any issues with if you've read anything oh knuckles breaking this or that no nope, not on this you're done you're taken care of everything is done no issues. Um, we've also changed the this around to where everything's protected quite a bit better and it looks better. Works really, really well. The uh, Graves exhaust system, we also have the Graves ECU flash. So on the Graves ECU flash and the exhaust system, uh, they are claiming a 14 and a half horsepower increase. And I can guarantee you it definitely has more power um, with the stock clutch because this thing these things are geared low they're clutched really well these things are a rock god uh, these things are unbelievable um, the more gnarly the terrain is the more badass they become the uh, uh, with the ECU tuning you have a much sharper throttle response and it does it definitely does have more power so I'll let you kind of hear the exhaust here This is with the quiet core in. Now, of course, um, kind of hard to really tell, but. It's a nice sound. That's with the quiet core in. So just cruising down the road is not bad at all. More like a slight little growl to it. Granted, you put your foot hard into it. It's gonna have some noise but it is a beautiful sounding exhaust. Really nice, really nice sounding exhaust. We also have on these, we have the Click 6 harnesses. So we have a nice adjustable harness system here. Very, very nice setup, very worth the money. Uh, we also have different dash plate here and we did a custom 3D setup with a stainless steel. Sorry if I'm mispointing it sometimes because I do have a different 
handhold device here for my phone, so please forgive me. Uh, inside here, I just have the uh, little controller for the uh, AudioForms top uh, RGB on the speakers. We've got the winch and we've got the whip lights right here where you can turn the whips on and off. Now, one thing you probably notice we do not have is we do not have an alternator on this. Why? Because it doesn't need it. And I'll explain. So we tested, we kept adding parts and adding parts and tested this. So we had the high beams on, we had the seismic mirrors on, we had the whips on, the rock lights on, everything on, we had the light bar on, we had the rear light on, we had the dome light on, and we had the stereo system just jamming. And we, we kept testing, uh, you know, at the, uh, at the source here, and it kept up with everything. It never once running everything. We were like, okay, so we're running everything at 13 and a half volts with no alternator. No problems. I mean, it never, the amperage stayed really good. We actually disconnected the battery to prove our point. So we actually disconnected the battery with everything running and it's, everything stayed operational. Nothing quit, nothing cut out. So the stator was more than handling the whole thing. So then we did a final test. So we hooked the battery back up, had everything going again, the sound system blaring, everything jamming. Then we pulled the winch and we had the winch running. Then we dropped down to 13.1 volts with the draw of the winch. That is, an, that is a ludicrous situation where you're, you're pulling power from every single source, full bore, every light on, the sound system jamming, you know. I mean, this sucker was just screaming loud, thumping and everything, the whips on, everything on, and then we pulled the winch. And we still never dropped below 13 volts. So in this situation, this scenario, it does not need an alternator. Now you can run an alternator if you plan on putting more stuff. But once again, who's going to be out there, say in a mud hole, with all your lights on, sound system blaring, you have your front LED light bar on, rear light on, dome light on, sound system on, the lights of the mirrors on, all your headlights on, high beam and everything, and then trying to pull yourself out of a, out of a mud hole. Come on now. Got to be an idiot to do that. Granted, I know that there's somebody who's going to prove me wrong just to do it, but hey, <laughs> that's all on you, buddy. That's all on you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got the uh, front and rear sport bumpers. Uh, I chose not to do the, the light guards. I like it clean, but it can still be added. Many more things could still be added. The tailgate could be added. You know, the spare tire mount could be added. I mean, you could still keep going. We wanted to make a very nice, well-rounded package that takes care of pretty much everything that you want. You know, it's already got all the cool lights. It's got all, you know, a very nice windshield, very nice top. You got all kinds of lights. You're not gonna have any questions on lights. You know, you have more ground clearance. Everything's already been tuned. You got floor drains already. Everything's already protected with the rock sliders, with the Nerf bars, with the full skids. You have more power. And to give you an idea, we ran this, and I do have a video on our Facebook page. Um, we ran this against a General 1000, and it flat walked it away. Granted, the KRXs, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. I never say that these are meant for drag racing. These are rock crawlers. These are, you know, wicked. It's basically a trophy truck. You get it out there and you just, you haul ass through everything. It's the smoothest riding side by side in the market. You have the most cabin compartment uh, room. You got loads of space behind the seats. You know, you got a very good sized bed. You can take care of pretty much anything that you want. I mean, the sucker's rolling 35s. You got tons of ground clearance, ton, you know, plenty of power. 
with 35s, like I said, with 35s, we flat walked away from a General 1000. So we brought out a KRX 1000, made sure both machines were at full temperature and we ran them in 300 feet, in 300 feet on a stock clutch. Keep in mind, you know, we, <laughs> we do a, a, a clutching system on this. This sucker is going to get even more badass, but on a stock clutch, um, it walked away from, it lunged out and walked away. In 300 feet, it was a full vehicle length ahead of a stock KRX. So, yes, that is, that is a definite power increase. And if anybody doesn't say it, you know, the exhaust and the flash does not gain power, that will prove them wrong because number one, I mean, we're on 35s. Much bigger, much heavier, changes our gear ratio adds a lot more rotational mass inside you know from the tires so that's going to pull power from the machine we restored it and then some so this it's going to run stronger run harder pull faster pull up heels with more authority it's going to do everything that a stock KRX do and then some it is designed to be one badass machine in every way and I know I'm gonna to get tons and tons of questions this will be on our website I will have the price on there and everything but I'm gonna to get tons and tons of questions but it is under 30 grand out the door under 30 grand out the door That's a lot of machine for the money. We have everything is heavily discounted. I mean, that's that's you know, ding, ding near four thousand dollar sound system top. I mean, you got to look at you know the exhaust system is almost nineteen hundred dollars, and just the exhaust system, no tuning. I mean, it's it's got a lot on it and we have a tremendous amount of money off it that's with the current rebates going on right now sales from us discounts on every part we have the lowest labor rate for our customers pretty much in the country 40 percent lower than the national average on our custom builds here at our store on the labor rate so we save we shave money from every single source. Every piece is discounted. Every single facet of this machine has been lowered in price. So you figure you take a stock KRX at 20,499 and then you add the freight setup and dock fee and you start adding parts, you're gonna barely get, you're gonna barely get anywhere in your 30 grand. There's the pull point in the back. Just want to kind of show everything. Pull point in the back. Bumper. Shock covers. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful machine. We have been putting a little bit of time on this. Not, not really driving it, but letting it run its course you know doing a lot of idling a lot of free revving we have driven it up and down the street we have tested a few times we've done a few hard pulls short pulls you know we never go more than not not even a block nothing that's going to hurt a machine we've already like i said we've already basically run in the run in the engine it's ready to go um ready to rip ready to dominate I mean, it's going to do, it's going to hold its own in a straight line, but where it dominates is the rough terrain. So we get this sucker up in the mountains, rock crawling, get it out in the mud. Now, granted, those tires aren't mud bogging tires, but you're going to go through some pretty dang good mud with them. But I mean, this sucker, you take this thing to Moab, down to uh, Hurricane Utah, Sand Hallow, all that stuff. And you just let it rip, man, and it will, it will dominate. It will dominate. And it's full turnkey, ready to go. No BS. Ready to rip. And the only way it can get cheaper is parts are going to have to come off. So I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you all for taking a look at this. This is one awesome machine. 
really awesome. I love it. Just beautiful. Not just beautiful, but I mean extraordinarily functional. It's all guarded up. It's all armored up. It's ready to rock. It's got everything where it counts. And you can still add to it, you know? You want the heater. You want a windshield wiper. You want a, you know, the cab on it. You know, whatever you want. I mean, heck, you want a snow plow? Pfft, we'll put a snow plow. Really? <laughs> whatever you want. I want to thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell at the top of our deal there after you subscribe so you can keep up with our original content. A lot of our custom builds that we do. I want to thank you all for watching once again. Be sure to give us a like on Facebook. If you haven't already, facebook.com forward slash Hester's Motorsports. Thank you all. Have a great day.